I am out on a ride to meet a friend for lunch. Figured I'd take the bike today. The high temp was supposed to be hitting around 53. Now I've got on a base layer of pants along with my heated pants and then riding jeans. I think that's uh, when it, I've noticed when the temperature gets over 50, the heated pants are probably overkill. So I didn't even connect them for this ride. I also have on the heated jacket, but I didn't connect that either. It's feeling pretty good out here. You'll notice that my bike has a GPS on the four inch ride command, but I rarely use it. It's, uh, it's right there. Uh, it just is not responsive and fast enough. Sometimes it seems to struggle to even find where I'm located. Uh, I have the Zumo here. I think I know where I'm going today, but I plugged in the address. And, uh, you know, it's updated regularly with no hassle that the Zumo is. Whereas this, you got to plug in by USB. A, a couple times I've had them fail. And I'm a tech junkie. I'm used to updating things. And the, they were just corrupt files. The dealer had to install them. And then was giving me a hard time telling me that it's not normally covered under warranty to install something I can do myself. It's like, why be so snarky? And um, an Indian ended up compensating for their time to plug in a USB device and run it. Some of you may recall that on my Indian Super Chief Limited that had spoke tires. I love the look of the spoke tires, but you may recall that I converted them to, uh, I guess they're alloy slash mag wheels. I took, uh, I got new wheels from an Indian chief and uh, replace them now I'm a novice and I didn't feel comfortable doing that whole job and um, I had a shop nearby just kind of an independent shop remove the old tire and wheel install the new wheel and install brand new tires I bought and um, I've noticed ever since then the rear wheel is fine they admitted to me they scratched the front wheel a little and they they showed it to me they didn't offer me any discount or any compensation they just pointed out they did it and i don't get too hung up on stuff like that they were kind of small nicks very small and had i done it myself i would have probably done worse but um but what i've noticed is that the front tire has a slow leak and it was doing it immediately and um, you know the recommended tire pressure for the front tire um, let's see might be getting the rear and the front off I have a little Bluetooth uh, device that you know goes on the cap and you know I can check the tire pressure and it's been pretty accurate when I've compared it to uh, actually physically checking it but um, I think it's supposed to be at 36 on the front. And after a week, I have to put air in it because it'll be down to 35.5. If I wait two weeks, which you know I haven't really done, but it would probably, I think one time maybe I waited two weeks to ride again and it was 35.4 or 35.3. Whereas the rear tire never really loses air. And on my Indian Scout, I never, uh, well, I have to admit, one of the mistakes I made as a newer rider on that Scout is I didn't check the tire pressure enough. But I'm just wondering, is that normal to have to replace the air every week or so on a motorcycle? Or did he do something to it? I've decided to just, um, I'm probably not going to use that shop again for a few different reasons. I've decided to just kind of keep topping it off until I need new tires and then probably let the dealer do it or take it. You know, a lot of these places want you to remove the wheel and they'll put the tire on. And uh, I'm just not comfortable doing that. I haven't even done my own oil change yet. So to get into something as important as taking off a wheel. Yeah, I 
love to say I could do it myself, but there's a value on time, and I may just end up having the dealer do it. I just don't know if the guy that uh, did the work on these damaged the wheel where there's a gap and not seated properly on the tire, or if it's an imperfection in the tire. Um, I don't think there's like a nail or anything in it. I, I did, I have kind of tried to check it out that way. Thank you for watching today's video. Please consider subscribing to the channel.